Hello, everyone. This is Adam Meister, the Bitcoin Meister, the Disrupt Meister. Welcome to the One Bitcoin Show. Today is August the 6th, 2019. What does this shirt say? Strong hand, long term thinking, unconfiscatable. Bitcoin is the next Bitcoin. I'm not going anywhere. Have some conviction. Always be learning. Your home for Bitcoiner insider information. And yeah, I'm offended by selling, but I'm definitely in motion tonight and I definitely have conviction tonight because YouTube just wouldn't let me go live. It's, they've changed some things around. Um, I, I guess they're still working on the system and it just wouldn't let me go live. So, hey, I found a way around it and uh, you're getting the show. A new show here every day. That is strong hand conviction. Hey man, long-term thinking, that's the system around here. A new show every single day. So follow me on Twitter at TechBalt because I tweeted out a great, uh, a fun flashback video from April the 1st of 2015 today. And you can check it out, link to below, of course. And uh, when Bitcoin was at $247, um, and I told people to end up part of the 1%, do what the rich people are doing instead of complaining. Buy Bitcoin like the Winklevoss brothers and end up wealthy. I mean, it sounds like what I say to this very day, but I was saying it when it was $247. And a guy replied uh, uh, to, to this uh, flashback. Uh, it's only a two-minute clip of a video. A guy named, uh, he's got a great name, Litecoin Bag Holder should have bought Bitcoin. That's his name on Twitter. Litecoin Bag Holder should have bought Bitcoin. He says, oh, well, at this point, it's probably too late to get in, huh? since it's up 45X. Now he might've been joking around there, but there are plenty of people that think that. They're like, well, it's, since you made that video over four years ago, it's 45X. So yeah, I'm late. I'm like, no, dude, no. And you know, that's my, that's what I always say. It's never too late. Um, the opportunity's still there. And I want you, if you don't think the opportunity is still there, if you think you are too late, then I want you to watch the entire video that I mentioned yesterday. I only mentioned it briefly yesterday, but I'm going to get into it a lot more right now. Dan Tapiero is a guy from traditional finance, from gold. He's a macro guy, okay? He works with some big names, like really traditional big names. And you know, they don't, I don't look for them for validation, but this guy is. He's, he's, I mean, he's not going to get into anything ridiculous. I'll tell you that. He's going to do his research. He, ma he manages a lot of money. He deals with a lot of money, a lot of wealthy people, a lot of smart people. And this interview of him, he loves Bitcoin. He, again, he, he says why he didn't get into it at first, why he's into it now. He thinks Bitcoin is a truth machine. That is, it's, that is the invention. It's, it's, it, it's, he says a lot of people have a hard time describing it or people describe it for, in ways that they are familiar with, but he says it is a truth machine and that just to, to build this truth machine would cost you more than $200 billion. I mean, and that's what, that's what Bitcoin is valued at right now is $200 billion. So he sees a tremendous amount of uh, potential. He, and at the 56 minute mark, he says, in five to eight years, every single hedge fund will be trading crypto. Now, again, he sometimes gets, gets into the crypto side of things, but he advises. He says, you know what? Keep it simple. Don't try to start your own Bitcoin business. Just buy Bitcoin. He says some people are saying put 1% of your portfolio in Bitcoin. He says that's a good idea. He thinks it should be more. Uh, and he says, just hold, just hold. He know, like me, he knows keep it, keep it simple with this thing. He, he is just up on it being the future, that this decade, that if you're a young person, you should be getting, the upcoming decade, that you should be getting into a Bitcoin-related uh, activities. So watch the entire video. And I don't see, after, after watching this video, and again, I didn't know this dude's name 
beforehand. I didn't know who he was beforehand. Um, and because I'm not that familiar with uh, the, the type of uh, financial markets that he's dealing with, okay? This, this high level hedge fund style, that's not, that's not my thing. But dude, he's, a, he's clearly a knowledgeable man and he clearly changed his mind at, at, at some point. And he, lit, you know, a lot of other dudes like him are also going to change their minds when you're, uh, when you're watching this video. So if you were a doubter, in Bitcoin, if you think ah, I shouldn't get into it now, what you know, I'm too late. Watch this dude's video. It is it's the best non-technical Bitcoin video of the year. Okay, and I love these non-technical. I mean, this is not no one's gonna get scared away by this. I know there's a lot of people that get intimidated when when people start talking about uh, you know, the different technical aspects of Bitcoin. He meant he says he doesn't understand half of them. He doesn't get everything. And you don't need to get everything. And, and that's a very reassuring thing also to, to a lot of people. And I, I, I try to say that a lot too. You don't have to be a technical genius speaking mumbo jumbo all the time to, to get into this. Um, you could be uh, just, you get your, understand what savings is. Understand what future trends in finance are. That this world is a digital world. So he, and he gets that. He gets that. Bitcoin is a truth machine. Pound that like button for Dan Tapiero. Best uh, non-technical uh, video out there of the year so far. All right. And, and play it at 2x. It's an hour, so it'll only take you a half hour to watch the, the thing. And send it to your friends who doubt. Send it to your friends. And he says that gold and Bitcoin are cousins. And that you shouldn't, you know, don't, don't rip don't scare gold people away. How about that? Don't, don't scare gold people away. Um, so, I mean, he has some, this guy has a lot of interest in gold. So it just as this guy has more money in gold than Peter Schiff does, yet he, he doesn't let that cloud his judgment at all. He doesn't let that cloud his judgment. So good, good for uh, Tapiero. All right. And I want to thank everybody who's been sending me, uh, I've got links below of my uh, crypto addresses. I, I haven't checked them for a while, to be honest. And um, that just shows you what type of strong hand I have. But I do thank the people that have been sending it. Uh, I'm sorry if I missed the dates that you send it. I, I, again, I have not checked. I, I still haven't. I checked one thing very quickly uh, earlier in the day, but I haven't checked it all. And I do appreciate it though. I just don't need to know, you know how, how much I'm getting or, or, or whatever. I've got, I've got a strong hand. I know, oh, you know, accumulating accumulating at any pace for free is great you know the people who are giving me crypto for free especially bitcoin for free that that's very generous that you support the show in that way and uh again i'm about long-term thinking how much i'm going to have in, in the future so i I'm, i don't check it uh every day i don't check it every month to be honest with you those addresses that are out there all right um uh bitcoin was at 68 percent dominance at, at, at some point today in terms of market cap and that it hadn't been that high since April of 2017. Again, is it really a legit measurement? It's not that legit. It's not too legit to quit. Hey, hey. All right, but <laughs> it, <laughs> pound that like button, people. Um, I, <laughs> uh, it, but it does tell a story. It tells a story because back in 2017, in April 2017, when it was at 68%, there were not as many. There were not as many cryptocurrencies out there, and uh, yet, yet still, it has regained that dominance. In, in and again, anybody can create their own crypto, get it added to coin market cap, and it makes it that much more difficult for for Bitcoin to have a high dominance. So uh, there are a lot more obstacles uh, toward getting sixty eight percent than there were back in 2017. And it just shows you, I think the bottom line is that, yeah, it's the real thing. It, it, Bitcoin is the real thing. Can't beat the real thing, baby, uh-huh. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> let's talk about people that are in motion. Sure, I'm in motion tonight with this uh, YouTube situation and everything. I don't let YouTube beat me down. And my buddy Jim, you've, you've seen me uh, hold the uh, bit piggy before. I've retweeted the BitPiggy, the piggy bank for your, your Bitcoin. I linked to his tweet below. He was just in Bitcoin Magazine. They did a story about him because this dude persevered, man. 
he made his, he, he came up with this idea. He came up with his Bitcoin uh, piggy bank and he kept going with it. I mean, it's only been a few months now, right? Um, and yeah, he's in motion. He's getting, getting more publicity, getting more bit piggies out there. So good job, uh, Jim. And I thought I, 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 obviously I retweeted you. People who were following me on Twitter uh, obviously know this story already. And people who watch these videos every day, uh, they, they're familiar with you also. But dude, keep them in motion. And that shows everyone out there the opportunity in this space, in, in this next decade, that yeah, you're gonna be able to, make, you can make a Bitcoin piggy bank. That's something, why not? I mean, there, there are gonna be physical things you can do with Bitcoin. Uh, there, there are gonna be all sorts of endeavors surrounding Bitcoin that you can uh, be involved with. Again, the best thing you can do with Bitcoin is just buy Bitcoin and hold it and collect the uh, crypto dividends. Uh, we'll get into that in a second, the crypto dividend part of it. Uh, Andreas Antonopoulos has a uh, new video out. And just, uh, I'm making sure I didn't skip anything here. Okay, yeah. He's got, a, he's got a new video out there. Universal access to basic finance. And that, that's what Bitcoin provides. Universal asset access to basic finance. As those of you familiar with Andreas Antonopoulos, uh, you know that he, it bothers him to the core <laughs> that so many people, even in the Western world, are denied access to bank accounts. And that if, that, that, that banks need to approve you and get you onto their rails so that you get into the traditional uh, banking system and that you can have a credit card and uh, that you can save. You don't have to put money under your mattress. And he knows that in the Western world, there are a lot of people that, that don't meet the qualifications and thus they're out on the street. Uh, well, they're not out. They're, they're not inside the bank. They, they, they've had to make their own workarounds when it comes to paying bills and uh, things that we take for granted uh, in the, the Western world. They, I mean, again, they're, they're and again, in, in the non-Western world, there are plenty of people that are in that situation. We're very familiar with, with those type of unbanked people. So I, I like that he is very positive to frame it in the way that says it's universal access to basic finance. That's what, um, that, that, that just the ba what we consider basic, just having a bank account, so many people don't have. And now Bitcoin allows people to have that. Without, Bitcoin doesn't need to approve you. You don't need Bitcoin's approval. You just get an address, that's it. You, you, you control your own private key, you're, you're in great shape, okay? You're in this new system. And he says it is the revolution of the century, of the century, that universal access to basic finance. And he gets emotional about it. And, um, and you know, some of the, the things I don't like about the video, I mean, there's a lot of revenge type of themes against the, against the banks and I, I don't, I don't go down that path. I mean, you, you can go down and you can go any direction you want. I, I tend to stick with, you know, staying, let's stay positive about it. Let's think about all the great things this revolution, this peaceful revolution is, is going to bring us. Um, so I like the, the basic concept behind the video. I, I agree with, and uh, yeah, you shouldn't need documentation in order to be a saver. Everyone should be able to, I mean, it, bit, uh, hey, how about this? Bitcoin allows everyone to be a saver. How about that? Bitcoin allows anyone who is proactive to be a saver. There's no discrimination uh, against people who want to be savers anymore if you can get your hands on some Bitcoin. So again, there's, there's guilt in the video. Again, I don't like to get into guilt situations and into blame situations. I say innovate, don't be bitter. Um, and yeah, that, that's my take on it. But it's, it's a pretty good video. I, I don't agree with 100% of what was said in it because Again, I don't like some of the bitter overtones and just want to put that out there. But I do love Bitcoin, obviously. And, uh, you know, we can, we can all have different takes on it. We can have a social justice take on it, like uh, some say that Andreas might have. And we can have just a not so emotional take on it and just boil it, boil it down to everyone can be a saver now. Everyone can be a saver. Uh, in any country, in any any part of the world, and they can, and those savers can send uh, their saved uh, wealth to anyone else all over the world. 
They're in the system, this, this new uh, system. Now, pound that like button. This is an article uh, about, I forgot, I, did Janae write this? I forgot the, the lady's name who wrote this. Sorry about this. Uh, knowing your, oh, well, she tweeted this out at least. I think it was her. Knowing your coin privacy using kycp.org. kycp.org, which basically says, stands for know your coin privacy. I tried it out. I linked to, I'll link to it below and the uh, article that explains it, the complex article that explains it. Uh, so I, you, you could type in your, the, the transaction, uh, the Bitcoin transaction on uh, kycp.org and see how private <laughs> the, the transaction is. And uh, yeah. My, I, I looked up some transactions I've been involved with. They haven't been very private at all. <laughs> so, I mean, this is uh, something to get people into the coin join thing and, and, and understanding privacy a little more. I think a lot of people are going to see, oh, wait, according to this site, uh, most everything I do is not very private. Okay. Uh, that that it, it can be traced back to you. Okay. Okay. That's, uh, I, I don't think there are a lot of people that get into this that aren't too worried about privacy because, I mean, let's face it, uh, in this world we live in today, most people aren't too worried about privacy. Uh, Bitcoin's, obviously, its main, <laughs> its, its main features are not privacy, okay, at all. But again, there are people, and I appreciate these people, like the person who came up with this site, uh, who do appreciate privacy a lot and want to encourage people uh, to get more private. And this site will definitely scare you maybe into getting more private. Maybe that's what they were trying to do. Uh, I don't know. I, I Again, I, I appreciate that Bitcoin is uh, uncensorable and unconfiscatable. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's uh, borderless. That, that's, that's what I like about it. That's what I like about it. All right. And I, I don't need third party approval, anything like that. It's like, it's not, it's, it's my own. My own, my own bank, baby. I don't have to uh, in, involve a third party bank. Okay. Uh, one thing I was thinking about, Bitcoin is so, it's such an exciting industry, so cutting edge. It's so far ahead of the curve in terms of like government interference and the government understanding and the government men trying to meddle in it. Um, I mean, this is the kind of industry, who wouldn't want to be in this? I mean, someone who values excitement and newness, um, who wouldn't want to be in it? Because there's so many heavily regulated industries out there and the, the government has departments uh, dedicated to, to, to being intertwined with these. Uh, and there's so many people clamoring uh, in the populace, in the, in the general populace to, to, to get the government more involved in these industries. I mean, like, oh, like social media right now. Social media is still ahead of the government. It, government doesn't understand it, but I mean, it's definitely got, it's trying to get its hands in, into it. And uh, it's, it's, you know, it, it, when you say something about it, it gets the 80% uh, of voters uh, excited. Uh, but Bitcoin is, is way beyond their understanding right now. I mean, imagine your typical bureaucrat. They don't get Bitcoin at all. They do not get Bitcoin at all. They don't want to even touch it. It's, it's too scary for them right now. Uh, typical bureaucrat. I mean, think of your worker at the DMV. I mean, that's your typical uh, bureaucrat right now. They 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 haven't touched this thing yet, really. And and again, some of you are going to say, well, it's not it's not on the radar because it's not important. Okay, well, maybe it is important. It, it it's maybe it's not important to the government yet. Great, great. Let it not be important to the government yet. It's important to Dan Tapiero, who's got a lot more money than a lot of people in the government. I'll tell you that. It's 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 important to a lot of people. It's it's and you know that it, it is the future. We. In this little realm that we're in with Bitcoin right now, we know the future. We have the long-term vision here. The government hasn't grasped the long-term vision yet. They haven't started to, and again, they've got people, again, you can tell they're getting people that are starting to meddle in it and, and whatnot. But right now, Bitcoin is way ahead of their meddling. And so that's, that's exciting. That's good. That's another positive right there. They're not going to be able to catch Bitcoin either. They're not going to be able to catch it. They're not going to be able to. Uh, and again, that, that's why they'll, they'll, they'll be able to do their meddling 
with a Facebook coin and Libra and, and with Amazon coin, and whatever else comes up in the future. And that's great. So everyone will be able to get their way. They'll be, the government will get to say, oh, we're regulating cryptocurrency here. Look at this, look at, we're protecting the people. Uh, and, and, but at the same time, they'll be the Bitcoiners and, uh, and you know, they'll be vilified or who knows, who knows how, how everything will interact. But the government won't be able to do to Bitcoin what they're going to be able to do with all these 80 uh, percenter coins and their own uh, their own Fed coin. And people will be, and everyone will be happy because a lot of people will love the regulated coins. They'll love it. The businesses, there'll be businesses built around the regulated coins. Sure, sure. Why not? This is but the big this is where the big boys play. If people want to deal with regulated coins and Fed coins, let them do it. Let them do it. Um, and then let the uh, the the, the elite, and I forgot to say, hello, my elite friends, and thank you, my elite friends, for watching this. But uh, the elite, they'll be dealing with Bitcoin. They'll be in the Bitcoin overlay. And yeah, to each his own. If you, you could be in the Bitcoin overlay and not, not worrying about fitting in and everything and going your own way and, and, and truly understand what unconfiscatable means, or you could be in the regulated world where it's, it'll be nice and safe and maybe you'll be able to make a lot of money off of Amazon, got Amazon coin and... There'll be a lot of politicians running. You know, I was the one who made the bill that, that set Amazon coins straight. All right, everyone, pound that like button. That was a little glimpse of the future there. <laughs> I'm Adam Meister, the Bitcoin Meister, this is Meister. You guys are elite. Thanks for watching the show tonight. Bang that bell button, pound that like button, and click on those squares to watch my, uh, look at that, I spiked the hair in the middle of the show to watch some uh, recent shows. Um, that's it. See you soon. Bye.